put that lint in the bag. Hello, and welcome to Lint in the Bag's countdown of the Bible's greatest hits. Hey, you're not Lorraine. <sighs> Don't I wish. I love Miss Lorraine, but she couldn't make it for the rest of the videos. Sad face. But I can. Happy face. <laughs> well, then why don't you introduce yourself? Why? You've known me like all my life. I mean, for the people out there. Oh, right. Hey, kids and Christians. I'm Emma. I'm a youth at St. Aidan's, and I love the outdoors and especially my church. Aww. Well, the priest is cool too, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's fair. So today we have Bible hit number four oh. countdown, and the toy is a shield. Do you want to find the shield? Yeah. Oh, fancy. Okay, show the people. Ooh, the shield. So um, I picked the shield. Uh, really, it brings together two stories, um, or even more than that. So it was inspired to me by some words from the Bible in the book of Isaiah. There's this oh, guy cool. named Isaiah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and there's like a song in Ooh, the middle. What song? Well, the first song of Isaiah, oh, but I'll get to that okay, in a second. Yeah. Um, so it, the Bible, a lot of people don't know this about the Bible, but it's a musical. Like, really? Yeah. That's a lot, so cool. <laughs> a lot of times like you're getting a story and then they break out in a song, but there's no music, right? Because you just read it in the text. Yeah, yeah. And we've long like lost the him the the tunes and stuff uh -huh. but um there's this one part in the book of isaiah where they break out in song and they say surely it is god who saves me trust in him i shall not fear for the lord defends and shields me and his saving help is near and um uh that like defend the lord defends and shields me is what inspired shield for this pattern in the old testament where um, the people of God often, um, uh, God helps them get to a new place and then they kind of stop, start doing their own thing for a while and then they kind of face consequences from those decisions. Uh, and God does God's best to protect them, uh -huh. but there's still consequences. And then eventually like he leads them back into relationship with him yeah. again. Right. So like, this is a pattern that not only do we see in the Bible, but I see in my life. I uh, definitely see it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't ask you about too many specifics because your mom might be watching, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, like in the, in the old Testament, there was one really key of, of these moments of these patterns which is when um the people had were were, were set the the king there two the 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 hebrew people were together in one uh, kingdom of israel and um uh basically um after they've been divided or whatever um they got in trouble with an outside king who um wanted them to pay them not to beat them up oh okay yeah that's the way a lot of the ancient world worked like if you had an army you'd just be like pay me or i'll beat you up oh okay it's like you know like uh like a video game nowadays kind of yeah or like when my parents were kids that would happen in school a lot where it's like <laughs> give me your lunch money or i will beat you up oh yeah right? that doesn't happen now it's like old okay well i'm <laughs> glad to hear that th that there's much <laughs> less violence in schools <laughs> nowadays um so but anyway it was this t time when um uh they got smacked down by this outside king the king of babylon uh, or babylonia and uh because he wanted to stop this rebellion where they would refuse to pay him he took all of the leaders uh -huh. of the hebrew people and took them out of their homeland and put them in the city of Babylon, which is was the was the capital of Babylonia, so they could keep an eye on him. And in fact, it's in that time when they were trying to squash him, when they were trying to sort of squash these Hebrew people. Um, but what happened was the exact opposite. When the people got pulled out of their homeland, mm -hmm. they decided that they wanted to really stay true to their traditions. And that's when most of the Old Testament was written, was actually why they were in captivity in this other place. Oh. Um, the things that I love about the song of Isaiah is to me, it becomes a theme for that time. 
that time when you've lost your way and maybe you've lost hope. A lot of people even stopped believing that their God could protect them, right? Like a lot of people sort of gave up in their belief in God and said, well, maybe it's another God that's more powerful or maybe there's no God. I don't know. But um, but there was there were these few people who came together and that's where we get most of the Bible. Like most of our stories from the Old Testament come from this time when everybody thought we were destroyed and yet there was like this little group of people group of people that were sheltered and protected even in the midst of their own um uh the consequences for where they fell in so one of the things i like to remember in my life is when i feel lowest that um that there might be something that god is shielding and they might be able to take that experience and use it for good which is what which is literally how we get the whole old testament for the most part, is is what was when, when the stories were compiled and put together. That's so cool! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's our story. Join us right here for ne next week for more Bible and more shenanigans. Until next time. Don't stop Linton. I put that Lent in a bag. Hello and welcome to the. Okay. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Don't I, be, I can't read that far. I put that lint in a bag.